All right, you guys. So I finally decided to try and find a new shirt slash, it's not really a jacket, flannel. <laughs> I wear this thing every day. Like when it's cold, it's, it's like, I don't want to wear a full size jacket because they're too thick, right? And I, I just, oh, I got the radio on, sorry. And I just want something thinner like this, but you know, I <laughs> like wear it every day. I wear it in the house because I don't like turn on the heater and it's just warm enough to be comfortable, right? So I'm gonna, I'm driving over to a Cal Ranch store, which is where I originally got this one and see if they have something different. What I really want is something just a, a touch thinner, you know, maybe without the fur lining and stuff. Uh, just a like a thick long sleeve shirt. I used to have some, uh, some car hearts and some fire retardant stuff that I used <clears throat> for work. And those are pretty nice. They're not as comfortable because, you know, they're thick and they're kind of like rough feeling. They're not all, <coughs> <coughs> excuse me, they're not all like a blanket. Like this is like a blanket. You like, like a Snuggie. Like what, what do they call those? What were those blankets that you could wear? Weren't those called Snuggies or onesies? <laughs> There was something was like a commercial. I remember it was like a, you could, it was like a, a blanket with with like sleeve holes that you could you could put on. Snuggy, is that right? Oh my God! Somebody tell me down below what was it called? Blanket with armholes. <laughs> that's kind of like what I feel this thing is. But hopefully, I can find something that's that's thinner that's not too rough and maybe maybe not like blue or green or you know like the flannel color maybe just kind of mute a muted color like brown or something like like I normally wear but I thought that was funny I thought I'd tell you guys that yeah I, I, like I was talking about it last night on stream I think or or one of the streams this week and I was just thinking man I wear this like every time I go to stream you know I got my got my flannel I'm like People are gonna think that that I never change my clothes, but it's true though. I it's like yeah, your your t-shirts and stuff change, but you know your jackets. As long as you don't go like get them muddy or something, a jacket because it's over other clothes, you don't need to wash that. But you know like once I don't know, every couple of weeks or something. How often do you wash a jacket? Like I I wash my green Carhartt jacket uh, because it had a uh, campfire smoke smell all over right it was really bad like it was stinking up the kitchen because i had it sitting on a chair so i had to wash that but it had been a couple of weeks that i don't wear every day maybe even only once you know once or twice a week or something like that and um so <clears throat> yeah how often how often are you supposed to wash a jacket I don't, there's things that I know, I, you know, I'm going to say, I know a lot of stuff, but there's some simple things in life that I have no idea about. Like how often you're supposed to wash your jacket. <laughs> Is that weird? Like I know how to like, oh geez, I don't know. I know electronics and automation and engineering and physics and all kinds of stuff like that. But I don't know how often I'm supposed to wash my jacket. <laughs> I did I missed out on that somewhere where where were you supposed to learn that like what class were you supposed to take to know when <laughs> to watch your jacket dudes oh my god all right am I if I'm weird hit the like button right if I'm not weird if you guys are the same way definitely hit that like button <laughs> I think that's classic though. It's totally true. Like you can't make that stuff up. It's totally true. Anyway, I'm pulling up to Cal Ranch store. I'm half in the sun, half in the shade. I'm like a, like a Batman character. It might, oh shoot, did I go to the right place? I have no idea where I'm at. Oh yeah, I think I'm in the right place. But that's funny, you guys. Uh, <laughs> it's the things like that, you know. Um, some of your best comedians, you know, like real comedians, some of their best pieces, like in their acts, are things that everyone can relate to. 
like things that happen in the shower, things that happen when you're going to the bathroom, things that happen when you're eating. Those are things that everyone does. So when they tell a funny story in relation to that, everyone, the whole audience listening, everyone can relate, right? That's what makes stories like that so funny. So everyone can relate to what I was just talking about. Oh, I wasn't talking about going to the bathroom or anything, but you know what I'm talking about. <laughs> Anyway, guys, thanks for joining me. I'm going to go in. Fingers crossed. Hopefully, I can find me. With two, that would like double my, my wearability before I actually have to wash anything. Right? All right. I'm out.